disability was the boogeyman, but we all knew it was there. Like in the reverse of the typical boogeyman thing, we all knew it was there. We walked by the closet every day and pretended like it wasn't there because culturally, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to pretend it's not there. You're supposed to pretend that it just doesn't exist and that you go on in spite of it. Uh, you're motivated because of it, but it's not part of you. It really doesn't exist, but you hear it and you feel it and you know that movie man is there. So when the day came for me to use Botox for the first time, the way the Botox process is done it has a syringe that's attached to an electrode and it um, is able to read the electrical impulses of essentially of cerebral palsy um, from your body through this laptop. And while I was laying there in the doctor's office, I could actually see it. I could actually see it and hear it. I could hear that boogeyman for the first time. I saw its, I saw its face and I heard its voice and, it, and there, was a, there was a brief moment um, when I saw that, that I, that I wanted to tell my friend who would come with me to the appointment, you know, make him stop. I'm not supposed to see this. I'm not supposed to know about this. I can't look at this. Because, you know, in my nightmares, I can close my eyes and I can hear and feel what's going on in my nightmares, but I don't see it. But I was actually seeing my real life nightmare in front of me. And there was that split second where I was like, take it out. I'm not supposed to see this. This isn't something I'm supposed to see. It's something I'm not supposed to acknowledge or recognize. And then right after that, there was a moment of watching it go away, of watching the Botox take that nightmare away. And the realization of just hanging in for a couple of seconds and actually looking the, the boogeyman in the face and hearing his voice for the first time in my life and then watching it go away, it was, it was so freeing, it was so empowering, it, it, it changed my life and I'm still, three months later, trying to find the words to explain it so that other people understand it.